<laughs> oh no. What's up, everybody? Hello, everybody. Hope you're having a lovely day out there today, okay? Oh my gosh. How the mighty are starting to fall. I just want to say that, okay? How the mighty are starting to freaking fall, period, okay? Okay, if y'all want to donate to my Cash App, it is Sunny Divinity 007. You want to donate to my PayPal, Sunny Divinity 007. If y'all want to help me reach my gift goal, it's one lion up there. Let's give you this freaking lion before this reading's over, because I'm gonna tell you right now, boo, the mighty are fucking falling. So we have your ex here, and there is no doubt in people's mind that this person and all their lies are coming to a crumbling end. Like this person really thought it was funny to sit back and talk all this shit on you, talk all these lies on you. And I'm going to tell you right now, like, they would not give this shit up. Like, this person did not want you to be free whatsoever. And now they're blaming you. <laughs> again. Now they're blaming you for some shit you didn't do again. Because this person is getting their fucking karma. Like, what they have done is completely unforgivable here, okay? They've been trying to stop you from living in your purpose. But look at you over here, still living in your fucking purpose, okay? This ex of yours is gonna have to accept the fact that, like, you are courageous, you are beautiful, you are handsome, you are doing the damn thing. And there is nothing that this ex is gonna be able to do about it whatsoever. They are being disciplined at this time. Thank you for the roses. Your ex is being disciplined at this time because this person is a cold-hearted piece of shit. Point blank period, okay? Oh, here comes the fucking ego death because this person has been doing nothing but attacking you and all their attacks, all their shit talking, all their rumors, all their lies unsuccessful period because now people are looking at this ex and they're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you do this to somebody that showed you genuine love? Why would you treat somebody like that that never did shit to you? And now this ex is scared. Oh, they're going to go cry in a fucking corner because this person is scared. Now everybody's turning against them. And this person doesn't know how to live on their own. I'm going to tell you that shit right now, okay? This ex right here does not know how to be by themselves, live by themselves, shit like that. This person, like everybody is starting to see what a big fat crock of shit they are. And they're over here trying to deny the fact that they're a horrible person, that they did anything to you. Everybody's starting to see them for who they truly are. And I told y'all, it was fucking coming too. Now this person regrets coming up against you. They regret the action they took because they're getting caught, because they're getting called out by other people for being miserable, for trying to destroy your happiness, and literally trying to put a death to you and everything in your life, period, okay? Okay, this person's intuition is being blocked like a motherfucker and now they're over here grieving the loss of you because for you, like your ex, you were the only person who gave a fuck. You were the only person who was genuinely there for them and this person was full of tricks, lies, and a bag of bullshit. Point blank period, okay? All they're out for is what they want and what they can do for their fucking self. They don't care about anybody else. So this immature motherfucker right here is going to get karma because they have been sitting here envying you, envying your purpose, envying your path, and this person is not to be trusted. Now all these people are starting to see... Now all these people are starting to see after they came up against you, after they talked all this shit about you, that this person is not to be trusted because they absolutely aren't. That this person isn't who they say they are. It's like this person changes constantly and it's not in a fucking good way either. Oh, look at, oh. Oh, it's the tower for this bitch, period. I'm telling you right now. It's like you're in this abundant period and now this ex wants to come in and like have some type of friendship with you. I don't motherfucking think so. Not gonna happen because this person is completely imbalanced while you're over here balanced and they're only coming towards you not only to stop your success, but because this person feels lonely. 
because they're irritated that trying to isolate you didn't make you feel alone. Like you're still on your path. You're still peaceful and you're still in your purpose and you won't have a relationship with this person whatsoever. Yeah, because you know that this person is just trying to make everything fail in your life. Point blank period. This person's also got some gonorrheitis or some shit like that. Leave this person to their judgment because this man or this woman, they are under judgment. Point blank period. Okay. For being a dishonest piece of shit, for being a dirty winky or dirty coochie motherfucker like this person is under judgment period they did not imagine the fact that they were going to actually have to own up to their guilt or people were going to see that they were guilty for what they were doing to you and now this person's worried because nobody gives a shit about their side i heard there's there's two sides to every story my side and your side but fuck your side though then that's how how spirit is okay well there's two sides to every story there's your there's divine feminine or masculine side then there's your side but fuck your side because you're karmic and you're a fucking liar point blank period that's what i'm hearing right now okay this person literally comes from a family full of fuck-ups like throw the whole family in the fucking trash because they're a bunch of thieves and liars and manipulators that sit and try to bully people like that's li literally all they do is sit here and try to stop people's path and use other people try to back them into a corner and frighten them like the literally the whole fucking family is like this as well and it's like this whole alliance this whole family is being unmasked for who they really truly are here okay yeah it, it was a matter of time this person thought that they were never going to get caught or people were never going to catch on to their lies and their bullshit. But now they're starting to see how nasty, how vile this person is. And they're like, if you're going to do this to somebody that you said that you loved or somebody that you were with for years, what are you going to do to me? Now people are starting to get their head out of their ass. That's all I've got to say. And you're going to see that like some of this bullying lightens up as well. Because this ex of yours had multiple people going up against you, bullying you, um, trying to make it to where you couldn't sleep, you couldn't eat, you couldn't function, you went crazy. Now this ex is in that same situation where they have people after them. I heard somebody owes someone some drug money as well. Okay, yeah. Nobody wants to collaborate with this ex or anybody in their family here because these these people literally sit here and try to bind other people that they date and meet to these contracts that they have no business being in. This is literally a family full of karmic people that do not have love or support or favor or grace from God, period. They work with the devil and it's like their friends are the same freaking way here as well. These people are freaking out because like I said, people, it's really like they're starting to pull their head out of their ass and see that pe these people are like that. It is really what they are about, period. There's nothing sweet about these people whatsoever. They're very childish and nasty, okay? Here comes the fucking evidence because somebody here saw it for their self and this was someone that everybody else felt like was a credible person to listen to is what I'm hearing. So now these people have evidence and this whole family, your ex and their family, they are so pissed off and they are literally irritated that they can't disturb your peace they can't disturb your passion as well like all these games these scarcity tactics aren't working here and now these people are being blinded in private here as well okay they keep trying to like do this spell work this binding magic behind the scenes to make people think that like they're good people or want to associate with them and this shit is over i'm hearing game over exactly see there's a death to this situation here okay these people can't can't celebrate and it's like they were over here celebrating because they were over here stealing gifts from these divine beings and now all these people are getting called out for being uncaring cold very nasty very disgusting this is a general reading this is no element i'm gonna do air signs later though okay you guys yeah, it's like they're not gaining anything off of the people that they're trying to steal gifts from, steal energy from, and their money is depleting completely. Like, you could notice that these people have, like, nice cars, a lot of jewelry, nice houses, things like that. Yeah, all of that shit, boom, out the window, period. These people aren't gaining shit off of anybody's energy anymore because this injustice has to be corrected, period, okay? These people have been living like kings and queens, not anymore. I'm telling you that shit right now. Now they're over here 
here and they are so overloaded because you're over here reaching your goals and so are these other people that they have been literally stealing from and now these people are stressed out. They don't know what to do. They're freaked out. Somebody's ex here has like schizophrenia or something like that as well, but I feel like this is more so like a demon attached to them that's like egging on this schizophrenia if that makes any sense, okay? And I definitely see that these people are not going to win whatsoever. They are not okay. And I feel like this is also affecting like their, um, this is affecting their children. This is affecting the people that they're with. It's like all these people are going to end up homeless and losing everything because they kept making plans to come up against you and come up against other people and trap people. And you know what? That's just not the way it's going to go anymore. Their days of lying, cheating, um, manipulating spell work and trapping people is completely over. And now these people are over here sitting wondering what they did wrong. What they did wrong was they didn't listen. They were stubborn and they should have been working on their self instead of trying to attack these divine beings here okay there's going to be an accident that happens here as well with somebody's ex this could be like a street bike accident street bike accident <laughs> a street bike accident or this could be a car accident period okay because this person is under huge judgment it's like they have been doing nothing but bringing conflict in your life and now they're not getting what they desire okay this person's going to have to learn a hard lesson they were also trying to get you in like a false marriage in the spirit this contract is completely cut cords are cut ties are cut this shit is over with the help of god because god definitely made sure that you are going to be able to sit here relax and let your dreams come true think about whatever it is that you may need to be doing at this time because this person has been trying to like take all your focus away from everything that you should be doing especially when it comes to profession here it's like now all this person's wishes are going straight in the fucking toilet you might as well shit and flush baby because honestly there is no apologizing this person's not going to get what they want and i'm gonna tell you right now like this person's not controlling shit anymore they can cry scream and bitch all they want to and to these deities that they're trying to curse you with or send towards you and this shit just isn't going to work it's like now this person's irritated because you're relaxing and their life is a fucking nightmare this was fated to happen and this person was literally over here trying to change fate boo you can't change fate like, this person was not ready for the fact that they were going to knock you down and you were going to continuously, every single time, get back up and keep doing your damn thing. I feel like there's good news here for you, especially when it comes to your health. If you've been having, like, health issues, if you've been, like, sick with colds, if you've had shit going on, I feel like your health is definitely going to increase. Like, this ex was sending illness at you, but now this is going right back on this ex. Like, happy blessings, bitch, because this person is literally getting nothing but the same shit that they sent at you. For somebody, um, for someone, your ex is in prison or whatever, and it's like this this person had to be stopped. They're still still doing spell work on you while they're in the prison. Confirmation as well. That's not gonna be for everybody, but like this person's luck has fucking run out. Point blank period, okay? I heard Bubba gonna entertain your ex, boo. Whoever you are that you have the ex in prison, Bubba gonna entertain your ex, baby. Okay, whether this be Bubba or Bubba at, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you right now, like this person is gonna be hemmed up with their own shit and they're gonna have enough of their own fucking problems and this person is not gonna be able to adapt to what's happening next to them it's like they're gonna be separated from your energy and they have been separated from your energy but they keep trying to come back in but this person's gonna be distanced once and for all is what i'm hearing okay because god's working behind some on something behind the scenes to keep this person the fuck away from you they keep trying to pull you back into the past and whoever you are it's like you're too courageous you're speaking your mind you're gonna to keep moving forward regardless because you've already discovered that this person has been trying to stop your determination throwing hella spell work at you um, for someone, this is definitely like a masculine energy, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's like you're too structured. You're supposed to leave your imprint on the community, and this ex is definitely jealous. Their whole family is jealous of you because these people don't know, they don't have any gifts. All they know how to do is sit there and do spell work, and that's the damn truth, okay? That is the damn truth. Justice is here. These people can stay in their little wounded-ass energy, but whoever you are, it's like you have clarity here, especially if you're a divine feminine, but you could be a masculine working out of your feminine energy, okay? Um, I definitely feel like this person is trying to have you disciplined, like I said, but that's just not the way it's going to go because you have done the shadow work. You're not preying on anybody. You're not working out of your shadow side. You made the choice to walk 
walk away silently is what I'm hearing and mind your own fucking business. And this person has been over here constantly in the background trying to destroy your name, trying to destroy your image, trying to destroy your innocence. And they're not making any fucking progress anymore. For a while, people really were believing that um, you were what this person said you were. 33, as I said that, that could be significant to somebody, okay? 333 as well. But it's like this person's not making any progress anymore. And now this person's running out of patience because they wanted you to be disappointed. They wanted you to be down bad. They wanted you to completely give up is what I'm hearing. But whoever you are, it's like you refuse to surrender to anybody or anything. Okay, this person also is trying to sit here and make you like talk shit about you the way you look or the way you act or some shit like that. Because this person definitely wants you to be like criticizing yourself. Whoever you are, it's like you love yourself. You don't give a flying fuck. And you're definitely moving on to this new life cycle, whether this person likes it or not, okay? And they're realizing that as well. Like, they're realizing that all this tension that they're trying to cause in your life isn't going to affect you. It's not going to do a damn thing. No matter how much enthusiasm they put in this, no matter how hard they try, you're still going to change. You're still going to go to this next period of your life. You're still going to transition, period. Like, this person can't stop you from being free and definitely can't stop you from getting in new relationships as well, okay? I I feel like this person definitely is doing like some type of like mirror magic trying to look into your life here with a bunch of different people like they could have a spiritualist over here that's trying to do mirror magic to look into your life and nobody's getting the answers that they seek okay because whoever you are it's like you have this spiritual imprint or this spiritual signature that says touch not my anointed you are fucking chosen period okay and this person keeps trying to do spell work to leave you in poverty you're not in poverty they want you to regret walking away from them fuck no that was like one of the best things that you ever did in your life it's like you're over here you're happy you're independent you're more efficient you have more energy here and this person can't bring illusions to you they keep trying to throw this stupid ass illusion magic at you it's not fucking working because you're growing right past this it's like the you're in this sun energy and this person can't darken your light even though they keep trying to make this change to darken you to make you bitter Okay, and they're also like throwing magic at you to where you don't want to date anybody, to where you don't want to be around anybody, that's going to subside as well because this is all deception and this person's about to run with their tail between their legs. I'm going to tell you that shit right now, okay? Because this person is not in alignment whatsoever and they were not ordained to come in and attack you and destroy your life, okay? I feel like this person's running out of ambition, they're running out of energy, and they're definitely not listening to their inner guidance and their inner voice as well as their gonorrhoeritis body, which is telling them them to back the fuck up and worry about their damn self worry about their health like this person has no foresight and they are fucking scared as hell because they know that you're gonna move forward passionately regardless and they don't know like how you're moving forward <coughs> sorry guys i'm still getting over this sick they don't know how you're moving forward here this person is trying to figure out what what you're doing where you're going who you're with so that they can stop you from completing this cycle and cause you like nothing but disagreements this person could want you to get in a fight with someone as well but you're not going to do that here i see nothing but prosperity and happiness and divine feminine and masculine's future this person keeps thinking that they're more resilient than you that they're stronger than you you have shown time and time again that you will always be 10 steps ahead of this person regardless of what they want or not okay and this whole like stupid ass family and these groups that are going against you fuck all these people they don't know what direction you're going because you're moving in silence like i said so now these people are getting frustrated they feel like they can't rest until they take you down well i guess their brain's just gonna shut off and they can fucking rest forever because i'm gonna tell you what this is some un like emotionally unbalanced shit to do that kind of shit to somebody like that is so low vibrational i can't even fucking um fathom being that type of person or um trying to think that way like what the fuck is wrong with this person for real okay yeah this curiosity i'm hearing curiosity killed the cat this person better get the fuck out of your business because whoever you are you're definitely smarter than this person and your manifestations are coming through regardless i feel like it's in a very sneaky way as well that's why this person is like going to practitioners and paying them to try to figure out like what's coming in for you or what you're doing is what i'm hearing okay this person has lost all their security as well this is part 
part of their tower. And I'm talking about like finances, home. They're losing fucking everything here. Um, they also have like this person that they got with after you. This person ended up like robbing them and fucking them over and running off with somebody that they were actually interested in while this person was over here effing their brother or effing their sister. Just putting it out there, okay? Yeah, this person doesn't want this shit to end. But I'm going to tell you right now, like this whole competition, you ain't competing with shit, okay? Like you're not competing with shit. This person can compete with their self and they can run their self rampant, run their self in a whole ass little circle, okay? With their dark, nasty ass. Like whoever you are, it's like you're high honor and you're not playing these little fuck fuck games. Someone's ex could be a Pisces here. I'm hearing Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Virgo as well, okay? But yeah, it's like these people don't know how to stop you. Like they don't know how to get in your head anymore. And this is a real problem for them because they were able to manipulate you in the past and now they're not able to manipulate you. You're like moving through these attacks like nobody's business is what I heard, okay? Yeah, what did I say? Look at this. I look up right now. Gonna hurt a motherfucking rightist right here. Yeah, and this person's holding a grudge on you because they because they're nasty because they're slamming that clam or popping that tinky winky la la and po all around town. And now this person caught some shit. That is their problem. Like they're so irritated that you don't want anything to do with them and you were just ignoring them. Like you're rejecting this person. So it's like they're sitting back here constantly fucking stalking you and trying to figure out like some type of evidence to get on you to open some type of investigation. And there's the second evidence card, but there is no evidence here. And this person's also sitting behind like fake accounts. Like I said, doing this money magic. It's not fucking working it's like they take your pictures and here and this person's also sitting behind like fake accounts like i said doing this money magic it's not fucking working it's like they take your pictures and here and this person's also sitting behind like fake accounts like i said doing this money magic it's not fucking working it's like they take your pictures and here and this person's also sitting behind like fake accounts like i said doing this money magic it's not fucking working it's like they take your pictures and screen i'm screen i'm I'm here mad as fuck because my shit just shut off completely like my whole ass live just shut off out of nowhere yeah it's like this person is over here doing money magic on you bitch I'm gonna tell you that shit right now like you're over here watching this shit right now doing money magic on this person behind fake ass accounts this person's still gonna get money you're not doing damn shit to this person. It's like they want to have you in this little love triangle or this polygamous triangle here. Um, you're not interested in that shit. I'm going to tell you right now. Like this person is a whole ass fucking fan while they literally try to act like they're not looking you up. They're not stalking you. And this person is over here trying to get like their, their bitch or like their man to come fight you. This shit is played out because whoever this person's with, I'm going to tell you right now. Like this person is literally scared of you. The person that they're with is scared of you because they ain't the king. They're not the queen. This person ain't got a motherfucking thing going on. Point blank, period, okay? It's like your ex wants to, like, they're hella clout hungry. They want to be you. They want to be in this energy. And they hate when you're happy is what I'm hearing as well. Because this person's like a miserable piece of shit, okay? And they're also pissed off because they can't travel towards you. For someone, your ex can't travel towards you because this fucker's in prison. Um, For others of you, this person's just caught up in some bullshit is what I heard, okay? so I And I'm hearing, like, prostitution sting prostitution operation yeah there, there's like a group of people here that are working against you to try to take you down it's not gonna fucking work period okay they better they better sit here and quit calling you in the spirit and trying to um attack you in the spirit because what's gonna happen is their nosy ass is gonna get clapped period okay because i feel like all these people are nosy as fuck they're trying to be all up in your business and they're over here trying to threat your energy but you're over here celebrating because it's like these people don't want you going out living your life Life. They want to sit here and start drama with you and you, whoever you are 555 as I said that whoever you are it's like um, I'm gonna tell you right now like you're not about that drama because you know that these people do the same shit different day you're over here too busy winning you don't care about what drama people are in or people are trying to fucking create because whoever you are it's like you are running from drama period and people are in their head because I'm telling you right now um, there's somebody here that like you used to be kind of crazy like you used to be kind of crazy like you would get down you would sock a bitch period but you're you're just not that way anymore and there's somebody here that was trying to like literally rile you up to the point where you hurt somebody so that they could get you arrested or have something happen to you and they're stressed out because they can't get you to be that way anymore now they want to come over and kiss your ass 
uh, bleach it while you're down there, bitch, for real. Because this person's moving on regardless that you don't want them to move on. Yeah, this person is fucking obsessed with you. It's like, dude, go fucking find yourself. Go heal yourself. Instead of sitting here talking shit about this divine feminine or masculine that doesn't even give a flying finagled fuck that you even exist. Yeah, now this person wants to call child services on you or is trying to get your kids taken from you. I don't fucking think so. That's not how shit's gonna go down. Whoever you are, you're a good parent, okay? This person just doesn't want you moving forward. So they're trying to have some type of dirty offer come your way so that you're stuck where you're at or you can't move away from this person. Them and this little impersonator that wants to be you in silence. But I feel like this person definitely... Um, isn't silent whatsoever you already know that this these people have been trying to steal from you they have been trying to tear you down they have been trying to bankrupt you point blank period but you're over here still unfazed as fuck and that's what pisses these people off the most is it's like you're not into anybody that they're sending in you are completely fucking unfazed and like when you're smiling that's some genuine shit like there ain't no fake smiling about you like you're just living your life you're hustling you're doing what you need to do to take care of yourself and these people are really trying to force you to be in a bad position but it doesn't matter what they try to create or what they try to do to you because these people ain't shit and nothing's gonna come of any of this shit point blank period yeah all these games it, it's not working whoever you are you're too mentally and physically strong and these people are literally over here these people are literally over here doing crank and all this other shit, okay, with their bad habits trying to attack you because they are, like, demonically possessed, point blank, period. There's somebody here that wants to, like, marry you for money as well. This could be a Scorpio. Fuck this Scorpio, for real. You're not even going to accept this offer. Thank you, Spirit. You are not even going to accept this offer from the Scorpio because you know that this person's just trying to steal from you. You know that they're trying to destroy you. Fuck this Scorpio, whoever this is, period, okay? This person is just trying to cock block you from your real person or they were sent in to cock block you from your real person, okay? Yeah, this person's going to end up losing their truck or losing their car, losing their fucking mind is what I heard. Yeah, this is all bad karma here. Again, fuck this Scorpio. <laughs> Whoever this Scorpio is, okay? No, if you're if you're on the right side of karma, I ain't talking to you, okay? But I'm definitely hearing fuck this Scorpio. Like your ancestors are so mad, okay? Oh my god, Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this person just literally wants to come in and take money from you and knock you down to where you can't dust it off. You're always going to dust it off, boo. Whoever you are, you are a fucking beast and you are a fucking problem. And that has people over here sad as fuck. Like, they are so upset that you won't be toxic. They are so upset that you are still sitting over here and they have done so much to you and you are unbothered. They are so upset that they can't stop you from receiving this jackpot because in all reality, they have have no facts that's why these people keep bullying you and trying to get a rise out of you because honestly if they were going to take you out take you down if they had any facts on you then they would have already done this shit this shit would have already came to pass yeah exactly they can't get you in any type of legal trouble they're not going to get you fucking arrested because you haven't been doing shit they can dig all the dirt they want all it is is fucking soap soap bubbles and incense bitch learn to take a bath because these people stink like a motherfucker point blank period it's like they're over here dreaming and fantasizing like oh I wish I could be with this um with this divine feminine I wish I could be with this divine masculine I wish I could be this person yeah you can take your ass right back across the tracks because this divine feminine or masculine is going to stay in their boss position regardless thank you guys for the gifts yeah it's like they keep trying to make you have this ego death but whoever you are it's like you don't even have an ego you just have a big presence and that's what they're feeling this is a big presence that you have about yourself this ex is wasting their fucking time i'm smelling a fishy ass bitch this bitch is in here right now girl you smell like rotten ass clams boo like clams and like rotted ass tuna fish sandwich girl girl please lord jesus like don't sp she's spraying perfume over that shit honey boo boo honey boo boo go take the fucking bath Please, God, spraying your, your lemon booty, citrus perfume 
We don't want to smell citrus and clams, baby. Please, Lord, go get in the bath and get off of this reading. Bro, I'm telling you right now, this woman, she is like a spiritual hater, like a motherfucker, constantly always creeping in these readings. Girl, take your fishy ass the fuck out of here, for real. Because she goes and creeps on hella people's shit, too. I, pff, I can smell you from 10 miles away, bitch. I can smell you from 1,000 miles away. Please, girl. God, for like... For one cent, for one cent, this bitch might stop spraying her shitrous fucking perfume and she might actually go get in a drop, like she might actually take like one of those little, um, those tincture bottle drops, boop, boop, like, I mean, every drop counts, baby, every drop counts, even if you don't want to get in the bath, boop, 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 just a little fucking drop with the tincture thing, okay, a drop at a time, honey, all right, it will help you, I promise, yeah, this bitch is over here mad as shit. This bitch is over here mad as shit because she's fishing through the comments. I'm telling you, I'm always on point. And she knows that she's a wolf in sheep's clothing, too. Damn, Claire Sentience really sucks when you have bitches like this up in here. Yeah, this ex wants you back and because they're broke as fuck. Because they know that you are definitely somebody who is supposed to be very abundant or you're working on your abundance and you're uninterested. You're like Ray Charles to the bullshit because you know that this person is definitely like hooked on... um. They're hooked on phonics. <laughs> this person needs some hooked on phonics or some shit, okay? But this ex over here, it's like they want you hooked on them, but they've already burnt their face card with you. It's like you dodged a bullet with this person and they are fucking mad because they thought that the last time that they fucked around on you or fucked you over, you were just going to keep coming on back. Oh, yeah, I like to get fucked over. Oh, my God. Like, yeah, fuck me over. <laughs> No, that's not the fucking way it is. Oh my god, like I legitimately love it. Fuck me over. <laughs> I'm just gonna come back. Hold on. I'm just gonna come back every fucking time. No, bitch. That's not the way it fucking works. Whoever you are, it's like when you are fed up, you're fed up. And I feel like if you're a masculine, you were fed up with that stank. You were fed up with that fucking attitude. If you were a feminine, same thing. Because this man smells like a dirty, sweaty butt crack. I'm gonna tell you right now. Dirty, sweaty butt crack with a side of rotten McDonald's, bro. Like this man smells like he had a mcdonald's hamburger sitting in fucking 3000 degree weather for five years and he decided to wear it as his cologne today let go boo like elsa needs to let it the fuck go because you don't love this person whatsoever you have no love for this person at all because you know that this person is over here trying to play fucking games with your purpose over here trying to play games and stop you from um going down your path here but you're protected and this person is not this person is snot they're snot protected and they obviously need to go get some like if they have glasses they need to go get a vision check if they don't they need to go get some glasses because this person truly isn't seeing clearly that you are the leader you are going to be the leader of your own life this person is not going to stop you 144 as i say that <clears throat> this person's not going to control you look at them i rebuke you in the name of jesus trying to fuck with my throat chakra bitch you are not to be trusted you hedgehog looking motherfucker somebody looks like sonic bro for real it's like this person is sitting over here trying to stop you from being productive. But I'm going to tell you right the fuck now, boo. I'm going to tell you right the fuck now, boo. It's like you're going to be more productive than ever. Look at that. They're watching you get everything that you want and everything that you deserve. Because, I mean, shit, Divine Feminine and Masculine, we might as well call you Rihanna. Because y'all know how to... Okay? And this person just wants things given to them. That's not how shit's going to go. Okay? With this... This closed minded ass motherfucker they think one way about them about their shit and I, i'm gonna tell you what whoever you are you ain't worried about his shit her shit he shit we shit um fuck my knee hurt shit you ain't worried about a damn thing this person needs to figure out how to grow up because i feel like they're just irritated because you decided to move past them you grew out of this relationship and you got smart you got wise point blank period now you're in this lucky season and this person wishes they had your luck oh my god divine feminine masculine
I wish that I had your luck in peace. Give me some. Um, no, bitch. Go get your fucking own. People need to learn that it starts from within. It does not start from taking from somebody else. There is like literally no good news, no opportunities for this ex whatsoever. With you in life, with other people, they're going to get nothing but gonoherparitis, um, the clap back, and emotional damage. Point blank, period. Now this person's over here getting impatient, like they're irritated because they can't think of a clever way to weigh you down like bitch you ain't gonna weigh divine feminine and masculine down period this person has already done the healing they have done the work and they're transforming into this new cycle past these snakes like they deserve to because they've done the hard work oh there goes the abundance coming in that this person wants to swap in like a little bat like oh, fucking pterodactyl over here fucking um I'm trying to get your abundance? I don't fucking think so, boo. I don't fucking think so, okay? Yeah, it's like now this person can't stay calm because they know that this love offer is coming towards you. They know that you're going to be with someone that's, man, they're just shitting on them. Or you're with somebody who's shitting on them. And they're fucking pissed, okay? Because you're exploring other options. Like, you don't give a flying fuck about this person whatsoever. And they're crossing boundaries ass. Like, you have put up boundaries with this person multiple times. And they were like, oh, I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep trying to break your boundaries. And you're just like, dude, leave me the fuck alone. I'm over here trying to heal. I'm over here trying to adapt to my new surroundings. It's like you've been free. You have freed yourself from this person so freaking many goddamn times. And this person just will not leave you alone. It's like, no, please talk to me. Please look at me. Please love me. Wah. Okay, well, take your ass in the fucking wambulance because this person does not want to communicate with you. They don't want to talk about shit. They don't want to think about the old times. Oh my God, remember back in the day when like we had that bomb ass date, but then I like knocked you the fuck out after. But like, forget about the fact that I beat the fuck out of you. Wasn't that date legit? Um, yeah, that was super cool. Like, thanks, because that's totally what I want, okay? <laughs> Y'all know, bitch, I want a new beginning. I don't want to think about the time that you took me on that shitty-ass shitty date, fucking did all this crap, and then you whooped my ass after. No, I'm good. I'm moving on to somebody who has this innocent spirit, this godlike spirit, like I do, is what I'm hearing, okay? And this person is so irritated, because every time they try to tear you down, you're still over here strong as fuck and you're persevering. And this person's like, why can't I persevere? Why, why can't I have balance in my life? Because you're a freaking satanic piece of crap. Because you don't love anybody. And that includes your damn self while you're over here freaking with beaver fever. Especially if this is a man. He's over here fucking, you might as well call him Norbit or Daggett. He's an angry ass beaver and he got the beaver fever, bro. He can't keep his tinky winky la la and poe out of a crotch to save his freaking life let's just talk about how it really is new crotch like every freaking hour i'm gonna tell you right now this man is freaking nasty 888 as i say that almost oh let's wait, wait for you ah there it goes 888 as i say it it's like you've taken complete control over your life okay and you're finding this inner strength to keep going and your intuition is on point don't let this person's spell work fool you okay because they're trying to make you feel like you're not spiritual they're trying to make you feel like you can't be independent. And this person definitely wants to be over in the background. Oh my God, who's attacking me? It's you. <laughs> we figured it out days ago. We just don't want to talk to you. Yay us. <laughs> like nobody wants to fucking talk to you. <laughs> That was hell here. Nobody wants to talk to you. <laughs> Damn, it's like this person sees you listening to your inner guidance. They see you changing over here. And they definitely see you glowing. Like, they see you being more confident. So this person wants to come in. Oh, my God, I'm going to be loyal. I'm going to be loyal. I promise. Like, just forgive me. While this person has, like, five other bitches on the side. Or five other dudes on the side. And is living with a whole ass bitch or dude in their garage or some shit. Because this person can't figure out how to get a damn life. I heard somebody's ex is back at their mama's house. And he's, like, 46 years old. Sir. Sir, you've had two jobs in your life. And you are back at your mama's house at 46 years old. Come on now. You want me to ask Mark for you? Oh my God, let's clap for him. Back at his mommy's. Two whole jobs and back at his mommy's. And you're still doing DRUGS. Oh my God, we're so proud of you. Ask Mar. Yeah. Do it.
Round of applause for this asshole. Yeah, y'all are doing it. Okay, that's how I freaking feel about these. <laughs> that's how I feel about these people right now. This shit is freaking ridiculous as hell. Okay. <laughs> I like the little claps. Round of applause. Yeah. He's doing it. Taking care of his mama, but she's really doing his laundry. Yes. Yeah. He is leveled up. Divine Feminine, he wants you to know he leveled the fuck up. He was here. Now he's here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot even. I cannot even, dude. Yeah, it's like this person has like no passion for life whatsoever. Their only passion is to try to cause like shit in your life. And definitely like this, this spell work is backfiring, period. Okay. This person has been doing so much money magic and now this person has no money of their damn own. Okay. Yeah, here we go with no passion over here. Rather sit and play fucking video games on their mommy's couch or in their mommy's basement or some shit like that. Come on now, boy. Get up and get a job. Get, get a job. Yeah, get a job. Get, get a job. Yeah, do it. Get a job. Do it. Yeah, get a job. Do it. Get a job. Do it. Get a job. Ooh, work it. We want to see you twerk it. Get a job. Yeah, because we're frustrated with you. Get a job, bitch, because you don't know what to do. Then get a job, boo. Oh, my God. I'm <laughs> This person is so mad because whoever you are, it's like they're not able to disrupt your balance. I need to fucking make that a ringtone. That was funny as fuck. I would wake up to that every morning. Oh my god, someone said ringtone song. I'm telling you, I would wake up to that shit every morning. Like, now this... <laughs> Now this person's irritated because their evil eye isn't working, period. Why? Why isn't the evil eye working? Because you need to get a job. Yeah, a job. I'm telling you, like, this person needs to find the strength to get up, get a job, go figure out their own fucking life because they have no protection here. I'm telling you right now, this person does not vibrate out of love whatsoever. And like I said, this is a whole ass demon. They are not working with God, period. As much as they like to say, oh, my family believes in God. My family believes in God and I'm a godly person. No, the fuck you're not. No, the fuck you're not. Your family's in a cult, boo. Okay, let's just be real about it right now. Yeah, it's like this person can't think of a way to stop your creativity because you keep on moving, boo. Like, you keep going because you, you refuse to lay down. Like, you are not going to get rejected. Okay, like, this person has no peace in their life, so they're trying to destroy yours. Like, with the motion of the ocean over here, this person just flowing towards you trying to fuck up your happiness i don't think so every time that this person comes to try to cause you pain they end up in more pain they end up more sad here i'm gonna tell you right now this person is in fear what did i just say confirmation like this person thank you mike this person is like in sadness they're in fear because they need to get a job yeah <laughs> okay like this person needs to go find something to fucking do like to make their blessings flow towards them like I don't know starting by like paying your karma would be fucking legit like just give it the fuck up and just pay your fucking karma bitch like you've been stealing from this person you've been fucking selling their identity you have been fucking selling their freaking social security numbers you have been trying to pimp hoes in different area codes sweetheart you need to get a real job that is not a job identity theft is not a job period it's like this motherfucker is so weird dude like honestly this ex makes shit uncomfortable as fuck like they're a very uncomfortable energy this person's energy is on duty booty for real like if they had an aura color it would be brown like shit i swear this person is so gross it's like nobody wants to be around them period because they just won't stop attacking you they won't stop talking shit about you they won't get the fuck out of your energy period <laughs> it's like whoever you are you're going to be successful regardless there's nothing this person's going to be able to do about it because you've already grown too much you've done too much healing work is what i'm hearing as well so i'm hearing spirits telling this person to give it a fucking rest or they're going to put their ass to rest period okay and i say that with the utmost confidence right here 
Lord bless, your ancestors are tearing this ex's ass up. And I mean that like all pun intended, especially for that whoever has an ex in jail, tearing that ass up. <laughs> okay, tearing that ass up. Jesus, Jesus. Thank you guys for the gifts. I appreciate you. I am freaking telling you because you need to get a job. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. What does Archangel Michael have to say about this? Archangel Michael said, look at this. He said, because you need to get a job. Please, I'm going to pray. Get a job, bitch. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Even Archangel Michael said, please, Lord, get a fucking job, sir. Good. Leave it alive. Maybe you need to get a job. Yeah, that ain't some king shit. Ugh, that was crusty. Ugh, dumbass comment. You need to get a life. Ugh, quit trolling. What? We're over it. Yeah, go get a fucking life, right? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> All right, what is our game? <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I cannot even with myself today. I'm freaking done. I'm done with myself today. Thank you guys so much for the gifts. I guess I did hurt his feelings because he needs to get a job, apparently. I don't know. Because he needs to get alive. Trolls. Oh, look at that. The romance angels are helping you because these uh, divine connections are coming together regardless if people want them to or not, okay? I feel like right now you're definitely like taking time. Thank you for su the subscription, hun. I see you. Um, I feel like you're definitely taking your time to make decisions at this time, okay? And definitely know that like your home is protected. You are protected by these angels as well. Trust and believe that. That's what Archangel Michael wants you to know, okay? Damn, now I'm going to be singing that shit all day because you need to get a job. That shit was so lit, though. <laughs> all right, let's get some angel messages. <coughs> that shit was so freaking lit, dude. I don't even care. <laughs> oh, my God. For those of y'all that weren't in the chat before, if y'all want to help me reach my gift goal, I'm trying to get one of those lions before I get off here. Hells, yeah. Hells, yeah. Trying to get a lion. I can't remember what it's called. Leo, Leon, something or other. Baby Leon goes frolicking in the forest. I don't know. What the fuck? I know, right? You could totally tell that I was a cheerleader before. It's so sad. It's so sad. But you can you take the girl out of the cheer, bro. But you can't take the cheer out of the girl. For real. All right. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear, okay, is what your first angel wants you to know. Mystique. Ooh, mystique. Okay, damn. We got it. We've, we've been getting Athena a lot lately. You got Athena here. It's safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits you, you and others, okay? We got Rochelle here. <clears throat> As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Oh, shit. See? I'm telling you, here comes this prosperity. We've been getting this one a lot as well. I'm not even going to butcher this name. Thank you so much. Um, you're a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. Inhabitat. In your whole ass habitat. Thank you guys so much for the gifts. I appreciate you. I appreciate it. And I'm going to get some states here too. I got to go pick up children soon, okay? So I definitely got to get off here. But I am going to be on later. For those of y'all that are ur signs, I know you air signs have been waiting for me, boo. And I'm working on it. Okay. Um, I'm definitely going to uh, do an air sign reading later. Y'all already know, when I do, like, the specific, like, um, element signs, they be getting lit. So, make sure you don't miss those. It's going to be Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, okay? So, if you have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, make sure that you don't miss that live, okay? Thank you so much, Steffi. I appreciate you. All right, what do we got here? Confirmation. So, we got New Jersey here, okay? We got mine. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. We got Maine here, okay. We got Colorado. Somebody from Colorado up in here, okay. We got Arizona. 
Oh my God, every time we on the grind in Georgia all the time and nothing on my mind but Georgia, she ain't playing with ya. First time we're going to New Jersey, listen. Oh shit, that's crazy. We got the United Kingdom. Ooh, you fancy, huh? We got the United Kingdom up in here, okay? Shout out to the UK. We got Alaska. We got Texas up in here. Do we got Texas up in here? Okay. We got France. Nevada. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This shit's all flailing out. New York. I love New York. Dude, that show was lit. New York was lit. Even though she was like obnoxious. Dude, that, that show was so bomb. Missouri here. Virginia. Virginia. Okay, Portugal, and just, if your state isn't called, that's totally okay, still could um, definitely resonate, We've got Canada up in here, Kansas, Kansas, somebody's name's Maya, she's from Kansas, she is a fucking identity thief, I'm just gonna say that, <laughs> that's what I heard, Maya from Kansas, you were a fucking identity thief, that's what I heard, okay, confirmation, oop, <laughs> <laughs> Oop, got her, bitch. Connecticut, okay, Connecticut. We got New Mexico up in here, okay, New Mexico. New Mexico. We got California, okay, California, California, yeehaw. We got Indiana as well, all right, and we're going to pull, what, what else, what else? Oh, man, why we always got Idaho up in here? Who's from Idaho? We got Idaho up in here, okay. And then we got South Dakota as well, all right? <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Mic check, one, two, and two. <laughs> I'm in one of those moods today, apparently. For my safety, I don't know. I don't answer where I'm from. No offense to anybody, but I will never tell anybody where I'm from. No, you're good. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, bird's eye view. It's like you've got a bird's eye view on exactly what's going on here. I'm going to tell you that shit right now, okay? It says celebrate the true a little, little celebrate the true beauty and the light that lies within you and others, okay? Fly high and observe from above. Here you'll have a new perspective, great understanding and compassion. I love that. I love that. A little hummingbird cards. I'm gonna get new cards today, and I'm sad because they're not gonna be here in time for the air sign reading. So I'm gonna like I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna start pumping out element readings so I can do an element reading with those new cards that I got because I'm super stoked about it. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, I gotta get going because I got kids to pick up. Thank you for the gifts, but thank you guys for the likes, for the shares, for the gifts. And for being here. I appreciate y'all, okay? And I will definitely see my air signs later. Like I said, sun, moon, rising, north node. If you have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius placements in there, then make sure that you stay tuned for later, okay? I will see you guys. Bye. Have a good day.